Hey yo, so today guys, I'm going to take you through replicating the first person shooting rifle. So this is going to take you through some of the basics. I wanted to go through some of the basics and give you an idea of how you can replicate something like this um, and the steps that you should go through when trying to figure out why it's not working. <clears throat> so in general, when spawning a projectile or anything, some sort of actor, it should be done on the server. <clears throat> Excuse me, but the first things you should look for in an actor when you're trying to replicate his actions <coughs> is indeed Making sure that you come to the replication setting and you make sure it is ticked to replicate And if it's a character and you want to replicate its movement, then make sure you tick um, replicate movement Okay um, And all these other settings I can cover in another video, but let's focus on replicating the projectile firing so if I show you to start with the problem, then we can try and fix the problem. So if a client picks up this first person pistol, uh, rifles uh, uh, thingy, and shoot, it doesn't actually display any of that on the server. Whereas, uh, for the server, and it would do the same for other clients. But if a server picks it up, even the server doesn't show the bullets firing. So there's clearly something going on there. Right, and if you were going to replicate this, you'd find the area of the code which is um, which controls the, sh the shooting, or no, the spawning of the projector, rather. Um, another thing I would check is if the projectile replicates movement, because it's, re it's moving and you'd want it to replicate that. So you'd tick both those boxes and you'd make sure that's, that's replicated first. So... Before you go into the code and try and make any changes, just make sure it's checked for replicating because then the engine, when it leaks through all the actors, it will it will pop up saying replicate this actor. So it will try to replicate its actions. Okay, even then, still. But what about for the server? Pick it up. Okay, for, so for now, the, sh the server is replicating the bullets firing. So all I needed to do for that was to check the, rep the boxes. Now, that's a good start because now I know that the server works and if I want it to work for the client, the client needs to communicate its action to the server and it will play for everyone else on everyone else's machine. That's how replicating works in a nutshell. Okay, so what I would do then is I would look at this and I would think, you know, this could be a server RPC. This might need to be a server RPC for it to work and you could even make it reliable because it's quite important. And it doesn't happen on tick. If you have a, an RPC that happens on tick, you do not want to do make it reliable. Okay. No. And even you could tell then that even the sound's gone when I shoot. And that's because this is now being played on the server. So, how do we fix this? Hmm. Looking at this. Um, at first glance, what I would do to break this up is these things need to be played for everyone for them to be able to hear. Um, because if you run it just on the server, the clients are not going to hear it. That's what tends to happen with uh, cosmetic, you know, spawn particle, spawn audio. It needs to be from an authoritative call to a multicast so it performs the action on everyone's um, machine. So, <clears throat> you could break it up into multiple functions, but I'm going to um, just put it into one, just like play cosmetics. Um, and I'm going to make that a multi. And it doesn't have to be reliable because the cosmetics are not that important. Um, you're going to want to pass through important data like the location. And we can even move this over a bit to create some room. And then after you've shot, you want to call play cosmetics and pass in this. So now I believe even if it doesn't shoot the projectile or make the noise, it will play the sound for the client. Okay, it's still not playing. Okay, so I figured out the root of the problem. Um, I don't know if I need to have this of as a server call, so I can just check that. Because you want to reduce the amount of uh, RPCs you have in total um, 
as an opti- optimization optimization technique really you don't really want to have like an rpc called an rpc because when an rpc starts off a chain of like calls whatever you set that first rpc as as in the replicates drop down that's the that's the rpc so if you set a you know a call on a server and it called this it will still be called on the server okay so now if i come in Okay, so it needed to be an RPC, so there you go. With networking, sometimes it takes a little bit of fiddling around, seeing what works, but the way I fixed this was, so where in the first person character is actually call, um, actually calling to use the item, so this is a delegate here, to use uh, whatever item is in the hand of the first person character. I've made a sequence here, so the whole call isn't on the server because this was working before um, without it being on the server, so sometimes it can mess up things. So I just left it as it is. So that's a sequence call. And then here I have the um, use action. Actually, having a reliable, setting this to reliable on a input is dangerous because the user could spam. So you probably want to add some sort of call down there so they can't um spam and do loads of reliable network calls because that could cause problems um but yeah that's replicating now even the sound i don't i think the animation is replicating let me double check okay no why is it not working now okay for some reason there's some odd stuff going on some bit of uh, voodoo voodoo magic but Setting this on a non-RPC was the correct decision, but for some reason, it feels like I'm getting messed around by the uh, networking ghosts, because what is that? I changed the name of it, and it just stopped working. Am I okay? Hmm. Ah, you can see something funny's going on here. I'm shooting forward and it's going left. Okay, I may not be be a mess around with the network and cuts after all, but you can see how it doesn't take into account my character's uh, rotation. So something clearly isn't right there. So how's it getting the cam? Oh, uh, so it's going from the camera player manager and getting camera rotation. Hmm. So that's not going to work in a network scenario. That's more, I think that's a single player function call, really. Um, especially because it's being called on the server, so it's going to grab the server's uh, orientation. So let me prove that to you. So it was shooting forward because the server is looking forward. If the server looks right, it's going to shoot forward for me. But if it's going to, sh it's going to still shoot, shoot to whatever way the server's facing because. It's a server RPC, so it's grabbing the server's camera, which isn't what we want. So, if I make a variable for the camera component instead, and call this camera comp, this would have to be a replicated condition because the condition of the variable, the data inside of it is going to be changing and you want that to be replicated to all of the clients. So what I would do is I'd make a custom event here. Um, set camera comp and then I'd quickly make it reliable and a server call. Drop the camera comp in, and that's an easy way to put a variable on the event. Don't have to like click or type or anything. Make sure it's valid. So now, every time we use the camera comp, it's probably worth checking it is valid before shooting. Okay. And then we get the world uh, rotation and slot that into where it was. Probably move this down a little bit. There you go. Looking nice and clean. Okay. So now all we need to do is pass in the camera reference so we can get this 
working properly. I didn't even have this connected. But the way we're going to get a reference to the third person character is on the uh, begin overlap. Because you can see here it gets the, char the first person character reference. And I didn't see that before. But this would be the place where you'd want to set it. Um, now, this is probably on a uh, authoritative call, but it's not got a little PC here. So I do believe it <coughs> It can do client calls as well. So to make sure that this variable is set on the server, I've made it an RPC and I've made it reliable. Um, I'm going to make it a sequence. Um... Actually, I won't. I won't bother with this. I was going to try and make it a bit more efficient, but you can probably just do that afterwards. Uh, you can just get the first person camera and call set camera comp. Now we have the camera comp, and now it should take the proper rotation. Let's see. So come over here. Oh, yeah. There you go. It's working. And you can tell that the, the gun is going up and down on the server. Um, and you can hear it on the server. If you switch tabs really quick, you can hear the last part of the sound effect. Um, if I'm gonna go, if I'm gonna go from server to uh, client to see if the same thing happens. Yep, I have the animation, I have the bullet, and I have the sound, I believe. The only other thing would be the physics objects. Do they look like they're replicating? No. You can tell they're a little bit off. They're a little bit out of sync. And that would be because these actors are probably, yeah, not really set to uh, replicate properly. As you, can tell, as you can tell, there's some differences. If you're interested in knowing how you can replicate something like a physics actor, please comment down below. But I hope this video is helpful and you have a nice day.